Ralph Waldo Emerson once said, the artist always has the masters in his eye. And he was right. They are out there. They are in the invisible world. They are there. An artist never dies. They are immortal. You can be immortalized by your art. It lives on forever. And they are everywhere. You know, if you can believe whatever you want, you don't have to believe that. But people have found that to be true. The artist has the masters in their eyes. And it's true. But this whole book filled with masters. The importance of getting to know the history of art is absolutely essential. From the cave drawings of Lascaux to me today, everybody, there are so many different amazing artists to understand and, and try to figure out where they're, what they came from. Why did those people in those caves paint that stuff? Why is the need to create just absolutely inherent in everyone? And when things are tough, and there's nothing else to do, like, people end up creating. And, you know, those, those caves could have served a purpose that nobody knows, sacred rituals, um, you know, people admiring the divine art is there to admire the things and imagine the things that are impossible to imagine. Like the uh, Michelangelo and the Sistine Chapel. I saw that when I was young. I'm still affected by I, uh, every master I've ever seen. Don Lee, the first time I saw him was a miracle. I think I had probably seen his clocks before, but then I had a high school teacher who came back from Spain, and what she showed us was amazing. It was the first time I actually realized that what was in my head was capable of coming out and being seen by others through the medium of art. That totally changed me. I had always been into music and sports and building and things, and, and I'd always liked to draw, but never as much as that. So after I saw Dali, I realized everything was possible. He was there. When I did, about 10 years after, or maybe 25 years after, I don't even know, 18 years or 20 years after, after first realizing the power of Dali, I created this Dali Dino drawing with 110 elements of Dali in one. For three months, I mean three weeks, sorry, I was getting dreams of Dali that only were related to Dali, and they were, everything was like this, fluid and moving. Three weeks straight, every single night that I went to sleep, I had dreams from Dali. I know they were. They were amazing. When the drawing was complete, the dreams were over. It was really amazing. Mayans, the Aztec art, whenever I draw this stuff, my hand almost appeals to be compelled by others. I've always long thought that they watch over when something like sacred art is being done and they help guide the brush, they help make certain connections that I would normally not think of, they make them real easy to discover and it's almost as if you're being possessed. They could be right behind me, they could be everywhere, they're in the ether and that's what a lot of people believe is the term the noosphere or the uh, collective consciousness, the subconsciousness of the world and there's a lot of stuff in there that you can tap into when you're focused in certain beautiful ways. Art, creativity, meditation through art and creativity is my favorite way of doing it. There's no way around it, it's awesome. There is so many artists of the past, oil paintings, acrylic, watercolors, sketches, wood burns, engravings, sculptures, uh, glass artworks, jewelry, beads, some amazing beads behind me and just so much stuff, there's so much you can learn from and the plight of the artist is something I recommend for everybody. There's so much you can learn from the stories of an artist. They teach you things that, you know, maybe you, and you will have similar occurrences in your life and you'll easily kind of be able to grasp them a little better because an artist has gone through it before. You know, artists have gone through a lot in the past. So many have, have lived their entire life, been nothing, and then died and been successful. Hopefully if they're still there, they know, but um, but you know that's a that's a that's a that's a risk that the artists take. Are living our entire life, dedicating our entire waking moments, and then not getting recognized. It's a possibility. But many other artists have thankfully survived off of their art, been successful, made prints, sold originals, been museums, created sculptures, created amazing timeless artwork. So there's so much to do. Learn from everyone. Find out their process. Whether they're your friend, they're your enemy. Find out about them. Take what comes in naturally. Take the good stuff in, leave the bad stuff out, just flush it. But um, the masters are there. And learn the masters, figure out their techniques, study them, their passion, and just 
create your own from that. Learn from them. Borrow from them. Everything that's in the art is in the collective sphere. And, you know, take, when you see something that you really like, think immediately, how can I make that better? What can I change to make that a little more amazing? There's always a way. So, never give up. Study the masters. Become a master. You already are. You just need to hone it. Make sure it happens. Manifest your vision of what being a master of your craft is. So many different arts. Find the ones who you really appreciate the work of, the ones who take a lot of time, the ones who are really into it for the art, not for the money. The intention is so important in art. People that do it for art's sake and for their own benefit and for the benefit of the world end up creating magic. When you create just for money, you can create some good stuff, some really beautiful things, but it's something that's lacking. Do it for your own personal quest. Become a master. You can do it. They're all watching you. They're all behind you. They're everywhere around us, guiding you, pushing you on. They don't want to see the art world become tainted. They want to preserve it. All these masters need the art world to continue so that generations in the future can know and see what we're capable of, what this current generation is capable of. Because we're combining a lot of technologies and a lot of different techniques, and we can do anything now. We have access to ancient knowledge, access to all this stuff. Grab it, learn it, soak it in as much as you can. Get creative, get inspired. Just spend as much time as you can to the art, and to your craft. It's worth it, guaranteed, and the masters will thank you. They will be happy and you will join their ranks. What's better than that? Nothing. Do it. Be creative.